Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Dally. If you didn't know, now you know. So today we're going to be doing a wig install from OMG Her Hair. Um, I did order their 22 inch kinky curly 613 wig. Um, I just want to point out that I did pay for this wig with my own money. So they did not sponsor this video or anything like that. But I just wanted to give y'all a review on this hair. So, when I first took this hair out of the package, it did have like a a smell, but it wasn't like a stink smell. It kind of just smelled like they maybe had put some product on it before they packaged it or whatever because it was kind of, it wasn't wet, but it was like, felt like it was something on it on the ends of the hair when I took it out. But as y'all can see, this is... A 613 wig, which is like all around lace in the front and the back. It came with three combs in it. Um, it also came with adjustable straps so that y'all can like tighten the, the wig on your head so that it can fit good in the back and also in the front, you know. But yeah, so that is the wig. It was really, really soft though. Um, also, in the package, they gave some masks, which I really appreciated, even though I already have masks, but that was good. Um, it came with this adjustable strap right there. They gave me a comb, which I need because I love me some combs, you know. Um, they gave me these wig caps, and they also gave their little brochure on the different kind of hair they have and everything like that. So... Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I did go ahead and braid my hair down off camera. And I also oiled my scalp, which is very, very important. You have to oil scalp whenever you are about to do a protective style or anything. Really, you should be oiling your scalp. Okay? Okay. Okay, so after I put on the wig cap i do just go in with some foundation and put it over this cap because i do not do not do not like doing the ball cap method um i think people think that it's required or whatever like that but i've learned that you don't have to do the ball cap method every time you install a wig or anything like that I just don't like it. It's just a lot of work. So I just go in with some foundation, put it on my cap, and I move on from there. Okay, y'all, so right here I was attaching that elastic band that they gave me to the wig so that I can put it on my head. Okay, y'all, so right here, I'm just positioning the lace so that I can cut out the ear tabs on both sides.
Okay, so now I'm just going to take out the wig, show y'all what it should look like, and then I'm going to cut the back part of the lace off. Okay, so right here, I am going to show y'all how I use the Got To Be Glue Ultra Gel and the Got To Be Glue Free Spray to lay down my frontal. So basically, I use a popsicle stick to apply the ultra glue um, gel so that, you know, if because I feel like once you use your fingers, that's what causes it to get white, like leave that white look to it. So I just use a popsicle stick and I apply it just like you would if you was using actual glue, like um, bold hold or ghost spun, whatever you choose but I just apply it on there and then you'll see that once I apply the gel I go in with the free spray and just spray like on top of the glue and then I go in with the blow dryer and I just blow dry it for like 10 to 20 seconds on cool and then I use like a little bit like five seconds on heat and then yeah. Okay, so right here, I'm just spraying a little bit of the Got To Be Free spray on there. 
And then I go back in and do the um, blow dry on heat and cool on both sides. And then um, after this, you'll see me use an elastic band and to hold the lace down. And then I will hold it on there for 10 minutes and then I'll come back. As y'all can see, I was really struggling to get this elastic band on my head because that hair in the back was not moving. Okay, so right here, I'm just um, cutting the lace into different sections because it's easier for me to cut instead of trying to start on one end and cut all the way to the other end. So I just cut it into a few sections and then go from there. Okay, so that right there is just how some of the lace can be lifting at this point, but I'm going to go back in with the free spray and lay that down.
y'all what baby hair is like what baby hair is like i know it might not be perfect you feel me it might not be perfect but i did a good job like i did a good job like i don't really do frontals and stuff like that because i braid hair but this right here is good to me it might not be good to y'all but guess what i don't really care because it's me i'm the one that gotta wear it at the end of the day I'm the one who got to wear it, you feel me? I'm the one who got to walk around looking like this. But this look good. Like, like I said, it might not be perfect, but it's good. So comment down below if I did a good job. Like this video if I did a good job. Like this video if it helped you out, you know, when you get into the wigs. If you're not into the wigs, get into them because... They're life changer. Like, all you gotta do is wake up, slap that wig on, and keep it pooping. Like, but yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, comment down below if I did a good job. Comment down below if this helped you. Comment down below if you're gonna give me tips. You know, what I can do better. You know, what products you use that I probably could use. But not glue because you know i'm trying to trying to not use glue i don't really like using glue at all so you know also like this video <clears throat> if it helped you out um and yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see y'all in the next video Sleep.